JFJ leaned back in shock. Was Doctor really sleeping with Tech out here in the open? JFJ had never seen such passionate lovemaking, nor had he experienced any of his own. Unaware to him, his hand slowly descended into his shorts, gently stroking his groin. Still fixed on Doctor and Tech, JFJ grew more and more stiff, eventually bulging out of his pants. <sighs> he moaned, stroking himself vigorously. Oh, Doctor, oh, Doctor, why? Suddenly, a rustle from the brush. Who's there? squeaked out JFJ as he quickly tried to hide his groin. Uh, I was just doing, uh, just polishing some rocks or something. Oh, it's just you, Charles. Charles crawled out of the elephant grass slowly. Charles walked closer to JFJ. Polishing rocks, eh? Uh, JFJ was backed into a corner of the cliff face. S -s Stay back! Charles left. Or what? Heh, <laughs> the only rocks out here you're polishing. He leaned close to JFJ's ear. Are mine. JFJ's eyes grew wide with fear. He tried to slink away from the mess about to unfold. Charles quickly pressed him up against the wall and flipped him around, <laughs> ass bent upwards. Oh, where do you think you're going? No, please, no, croaked JFJ. Charles began rubbing JFJ's backside, slowly dropping his hands lower downwards. Oh, please, no. JFJ realized he had no hope of escape. Charles ripped away JFJ's leotard and began dry humping the poor victim, now sobbing. With the bulge in his pants now at his maximum of three and a half inches, Charles violently busted out his groin and pierced JFJ's anus. Ah! cried JFJ in pain. It hurts! It hurts! Get it out! I can feel you grinding my pelvis! Without a word and a mere chuckle, Charles kept thrusting, satisfying his extreme horny fantasies. Yeah! Uh. JFJ screeched. Just when the feeling had been removed from his rear end, he was flipped around and placed on his knees. Panting, he tried to pull away as Charles motioned him towards his dick. Come on, you know you want a taste. I saw how you salivated looking at Tech sucking off Doctor. Just pretend I'm him and you might enjoy yourself. JFJ closed his eyes and tried to think of anything else as he opened his mouth, no longer resisting. JFJ felt Charles push his head forward and he gagged from the three-inch dick now in his mouth. Suddenly, he began to visualize sucking off Doctor as he so often wished he could have. The rough, forceful pushing of Charles was replaced with the sensual touch of Doctor gazing down at him with such loving eyes. Such loving eyes. Charles finished up and threw JFJ on the ground, who was still fantasizing of Doctor. What a pathetic, stupid dude you had. He walked away, putting his clothes back on with only one look back at his victim on the grass. Maybe next time you'll think of me. A single tear rolled down Charles's face, and without another word, he turned and vanished into the brush.